Welcome back Nephilims, I'm DB and today's video we are covering off a GR100 with a Whirlwind Barb in Season 20. Uh, just a quick run through the gear, still got the uh, full Wrath of the Waste set. Uh, this time we've got an Ancient Slanderer, an Ancient Little Rogue, Ancient Focus and Restraint, uh, Mortix Brace, Lamentation Belt, not Ancient, and I've got four items with uh, level 100 uh, augments. Um, so this is a bit more of a honed in build. Yeah, you see my damage is at 1.2 million. Uh, my Paragon's are 932. Uh, so just check everything into strength. Uh, if you are playing in a group as a top tip, turn off your area damage. It helps all the others out and doesn't slow down the servers. So what we're gonna do is just quickly run into a build. If you wanna see what the build guide is like, uh, please check out my other video. I'll just pop it link here. And as always, guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And always tickle that bell because that always helps this channel grow. We hit 150 subs the other day, which was amazing. Uh, I'm looking to try and push to that magic 1,000 uh, over the next couple of months. So it would be really great if you could just hit that sub and help me on my journey. So let's just jump straight into it. So I jump straight in, hit my Wrath of Berserker. Uh, to be honest with you, this map is crap. <laughs> but I managed to get an Elite straight off the bat, which was awesome just to kickstart the build the right way. This build is not going to survive... Well, the build, the way I've set it up, the way I play, is not going to survive those sorts of explosions. So it's always a good idea to get the hell out of them. And remember, this is a GR100, not sort of 70, 75. This is the start of the, you know, the next level. This is a, the end game push now. 100 plus is when you're going to start getting more of a challenging rift. Uh, to be fair, hit a couple of elites early, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, again, poison is not your friend. Try and... Now, poison is not your enemy. And what I should have done here is really group people away from the poison. A uh, bit of a faux pas on my part. I shouldn't have waited for that orb either. Should have just walked straight through and moved on to my next pack. So the objective of this entire build is to group mass amounts and then use your sort of ancient spear to pull people into that group. And here I thought there was a uh, an elite around the corner. Turns out it wasn't. Wasting my time on trash. Uh, opened it up. Boom. Here's the elite. So I, I really kind of wasted a few valuable seconds there rather than just carrying on and getting through it. Grabbed a nice power pylon, really helpful. Um, ones you want to avoid, uh, what you'll see in a bit, is conduits for this build with a low density map like this. Uh, the reason for that is that you're relying on your wrath to be spent by every hit to proc the obsidian, uh, the ring of the zodiac, sorry. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're hitting enemies constantly, pulling them in and hitting them. That allows the cooldown to reduce on your Wrath Berserker, so that allows you to have Wrath Berserker up at all times. If you hit a Conduit, uh, that'll slow you down massively, because you'll end up killing things before you can actually hit them, uh, which is a pain in the ass. So I do skip a Conduit a little bit later on, but as you can see, I'm sort of mincing Elites. But I only get to mince Elites after they are stunned. Well, that's another part of the build that you need to take into account when doing these sort of higher rips. As you can see now, I'm coming up to that conduit I was talking about. I chose not to hit it because if I did, I would have run out of fury, wouldn't been able to hit anything, and then my build's completely useless, and I would have been killed instantly at my next, the next pack of elites I get involved in. So finally get off that rift and uh, that, that level, I was like, yes! And then I come into this one. Another one which sucks. Um, and again, the density here wasn't great, so I'm not really getting my Wrath of Berserkera. Uh, but again, still managing to push through pretty good time on the 
on the actual Greater Rift, so it's not so bad. But, yeah, density was a problem, which is quite strange for a GR100 in, in my experience. Uh, they're usually pretty good. Very dispersed. So, what you try, again, this is more important, that you pull people into this build and use that Ancient Spear as much as you can, kind of following the Z-Barb. So, this is bad play by me, and uh, you're going to see why. The whole point of Wrath of the whole point of this build is to move them away from poison, move them away from uh, the fire radius, you know, lightning damage, and get them into groups away from that sort of stuff. I didn't, and I paid the price. And you know, it could only be a valuable 10 seconds that you're missing out on. But that 10 seconds means either a rift is done successfully or not. Um, so yeah, you live and learn, right? But if I was going to go back, if I'm critiquing this build, like I'm trying to do now, and critiquing this run, that would be an major mistake on my part, that I didn't group away from their main damage dealer. So then I get a shield pylon. Uh, it's pretty much game over from here out, right? So I... I've got a maximum damage, no chance I'm going to die from all these stupid fire pits and poison. Uh, remember, grouping again, I know I've said it a few times now in the video, but grouping is key. Uh, and that use of the ancient spear when you're trying to move away uh, and trying to pull stuff in. So now I use this spear a few times just to pull those elites in, and it really did help speed up everything. Again, we're talking seconds, but that that's the whole point of what we're trying to achieve with these greater rifts. You've got to do it faster and faster and faster. Uh, so I really achieved it here. And that was actually a bit of good gameplay. If I give myself a little bit of a, a pat on the back, that was good from my point of view. Um, so I have one positive so far out of like three or four negatives that I've done in this rift. Wasn't exactly the greatest Rift Guardian to get either, but just stun them with Ground Stomp and spin to win. That is pretty much all you got to do. As long as you hit them, you get the cooldown reduction from Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac, and you're good as gold. So I actually got a Primal on this, which I didn't spot uh, until I looked here. Uh, and it was actually a Blackthorn's Bloody Amulet. Uh, devastated. Absolutely devastating. Out of the things that could have dropped there, the helm, uh, the savages for the frenzy barb, uh, everything, I get a bloody black thorns. Uh, pretty devastated by that. But you think that was a pretty good run? It wasn't so bad. Um, so there you have it, guys. That is my GR100 run uh, with my whirlwind barb. And I actually managed to get an ancient uh, helm. Needed to just spin off the Whirlwind damage, because again, we do not do Whirlwind damage on this build. This is all a rend uh, damage, and Whirlwind just applies the rend. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, my name is DB. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that sub and tickle that bell. It really does help the channel out, uh, and I hope to see you all again soon.